Yo guys, and welcome back to another video. My name is Crazy Course, and it's been a while since I last uploaded a video. It's been quite some time. I think it's been a, about a month or something, and it was on a racing game, which I didn't even speak on. So it's a long time since you've heard my voice. I know. Anyway, who cares about that? Um, this video is going to be how to script with um, module scripts. Now, module scripts are very useful when it comes to scripting. Not many people know how to use them. And I'm going to show you how to use them. Um, but before we get on this video, remember to hit that big red subscribe button if you're new around here, as well as like this video if it does help you. So yeah, let's get right into it. So we're going to start with just some sort of script here. I'm not going to have anything in it. This is just going to be a GUI, not a GUI. I don't know why people call it a GUI. It's not very GUI, is it? <laughs> Shut up. Right, okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's go right into this. So I'm just going to have a main script here. This is going to be my main local script. I'm going to name it main. Right. And then here we're going to have local player, game.players, local player. Now, obviously, you don't need this. It depends on whatever script you're using, but I'm just doing it like this for a demonstration. Now, in here, you also want to add a module script. And now you can add this wherever you like. You can put it inside the main. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm just going to name this main module. Boom. Now, back to here. Okay, so in here you want to do local module equals require and then have those two little symbols there and then type script parent main module. So what that is doing, it is now requiring the module so it's, it knows where it is and it knows what to get. So back to the module script. So this script I'm going to make the player's walk speed. Alright guys, so now I want to go over to the main module script and we're going to add a function here. So this is going to be function um, module.walkspeed up because we're now raising the walk speed. Do those two little things and then it should add an end for you. Now in here you want to add your script. So the script is going to be um, player.character.humanoid.walkspeed equals Let's say we're going to make it 32. Now, it doesn't know what player is, and that's where this comes in the, the hand. So you just need to type in player here. Now, you're probably going, why do I put player there? It's, it's a bit confusing, but I'll tell you in a second. So that's now defining player. That's, that knows what that is. Doesn't really make sense right now, but it will. So now when you go to this script here, and you want to add a function, so let's say, let's make a button actually really quick. Let's make a quick button. Uh, where is it? Text button. And then we're going to move this button because, you know, I like this new thing that the, they've added to the studio. It's quite fancy. I like it. It's like, it was only updated yesterday, I noticed. Um, but it's still pretty cool. So this button, I'm not going to change any text on it because I don't really need to go into full detail in this script here. Now you want to add um, script.parent.com text button dot mouse button one down connect function there you go now that's gonna trigger whenever you click the button right so whenever you click the button you want to then do module dot walk speed up as you can see it recognized walk speed up instantly and walk speed up is here so that's now functioning whenever you type or when you click the button, it now functions, it triggers this event. And then you want to add player here. So, player, there you go. So, basically, what this is doing, it's getting player, which is game.local player, and it's adding it here. And then this is triggering this event, and it's transferring the player into the script. Now, this doesn't need to be player, this can be named whatever, like player, like that. Boom. So that's what that is. Now say you want to add an, an extra value like um, walk speed. Actually, I'll just put it here. So local walk speed equals 32. If you want to add that, you can just put a little dash and then do walk speed. So that's now getting walk speed. And then you want to go back to this script and you can add walk speed here as well. And this can be whatever again, name it whatever. Walk. And then you just need to put here walk. Now, you do not want to move these around. If you added walk here, 
like that. That will now be defining the player. It, it's a bit confusing, it's just you need to put it in the same order you've got it in this script here. So you need to have walk last after player, like that. Okay guys, before we test this, just make sure that it's walk speed with a capital S. It won't work if it's not. Sorry about that. Now if we go back, if we go into test here now, and I can show you here that we are going normal speed, not walking very fast, going to the um, humanoid here and I'll even show you. Walk speed is 16. Uh, if we click this button, as you can see it now changed to 32. And all that's in the script is triggering this event, which is then doing this. So that's lit that's how simple it is, and that's it's actually really helpful at times because you can keep your script a lot more tidy just with a bunch of these module scripts. And there you go, it's simple. That's now you know how to use a module script. You All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope this did help you, and now you know how to keep your scripts tidy, and now you know how to use a module script. So helpful. Um. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button as well as leave a like on this video. And I'm going to hopefully upload a lot more um, as I've now finished school, would you believe it or not? Yeah, I have. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.